Rip City. It's the Herb Thrasher Flower Hour, featuring music, videos, and backstage interviews with the masters of metal, the monsters of rock, and the hellbellies of alt country. Now, throw your horns up and crank it to 11 with your host, Herb Thrasher. Yeah, horns up everyone. Herb Thrasher here with Radical Russ. Hello, hello. And we got the Smoke Dog Jr. and Steve Shoemake guests here in Roll J Studios in Portland, Oregon. Just had a great first hour. We uh, talked about the many, many marches, uh, a lot of cities going on. I hope you guys are planning to go visit a city near you. Go support these marches, support the 420 Freedom community, and it's it's up to us, guys. We've got to make this happen, so you guys can find a list. There's many lists out there of the cities, or you can go to the 420 Radio website. Email Russ, email me, whatever it takes to get to out there, but you guys got to get out there and support and then we looked at a little bit of Slayer. We had some awful tragic news. Uh, Jeff Hanneman, guitarist, uh, founding member, freaking uh, badass, just guitar shredder, uh, passed away of uh, liver failure. And so I uh, played a few tunes. And now, as you guys know, what we'd like to do at 9 o'clock, a little bit of sports. Let's talk some sports. And so, uh, Russ, NBA, dude, major, major night tonight. Uh, there's four game sixes going on right now. Yeah, it's uh, it's down to the wire in uh, the Oklahoma City Houston game. Uh, OKC is uh, three two on the series, and uh, up currently eighty seven eighty one. About nine minutes to go in the game. Uh, Memphis Grizzlies up 102-87 on wow. the LA Clippers. Wow, they have totally come back. Yeah, this is uh, eight minutes uh, to go in this game. Memphis what? leads their series 3-2, to two, so the Clippers are in danger of getting uh, uh, booted from the playoffs. Golden State won their game tonight against Denver. They've moved on to face the San Antonio Shout Spurs. Shout out to Golden State. Here My you go. goodness, you don't ever hear that, dude. No, on the uh, Eastern Conference side, we got, uh, of course, Miami went and uh, swept uh, Milwaukee Bucks. They're uh, waiting to see who wins this Brooklyn Chicago series. It's tied 3 3. Wow. Apparently, yeah, the game, uh, game uh, next game seven, when is that scheduled? I guess it doesn't say at the current moment. Uh, Indiana uh, cleared uh, Atlanta 4-2, so they're uh, paired up against the Knicks, who went uh, 4-2 against the Boston Celtics. So the East is almost set. Just waiting to see who wins Brooklyn-Chicago. Celtics made a valiant effort. I know they were down three games to none, <laughs> and they kind of had people thinking. Uh, and it seems like there's another series that was three games to none. Oh, uh, I, damn, I can't remember yeah. which one, but uh, and they've come back. And so... Uh, Anyways, Golden State, man. Shout out to Golden State. I mean, I don't think they've been competitive since, what, Chris Mullen Christmas, days? Yeah, Remember those? Saying, yeah, that that's team, a long I mean, time. it is a long time. Uh, Don Nelson went there and turned them into. Uh, they would score 150 points <laughs> yeah. a game. You remember that, I remember dude? Those days. I mean, it was like no defense, man. He told them, he was like, don't play defense. While they're bringing the ball down, you guys need to be thinking about how you're going to score the next time. And that's how they got to 150 points. But anyway, shout out to the Golden State, man. I think that's awesome. Uh, Lakers suck. That's about all hey, I have to say to for that. For me, as a Laker fan, I'm glad that Boston didn't go any further because reality is they only got one more championship than me. That's true. They're the only ones that I worry about winning championships. That's very you know? true. That is like the East-West rivalry. <laughs> yeah, right really it is. Los so. Angeles Lakers, Boston Celtics, man. Yeah. But uh, Miami's looking tough. I don't see a team uh, being able to beat these guys. No. You know, I mean, Oklahoma City maybe, but they lost Westbrook. Yeah, but Oklahoma City, they're dangerous because they're hungry still. Yeah, but how do you lose their best? He's argued their best player. Durant's yeah, no, argued. Totally. You know, Westbrook, Durant, and how do you lose him? And then, I don't know. I don't see it. Uh, and so, uh, I don't know. We'll see. Denver, uh, these guys, man, I complete choke job. Uh they just seriously. Yeah. <laughs> if I'm not, maybe they were up. Uh, no, they were up three games to one or something. Two games. That's what it was. They were up two, two games. 0 or something. Two zero. Yeah. And uh, Golden State came back. Uh, Memphis, man. There's a ex Portland Trailblazer right there, Zach Randolph, kicking ass, taking uh, the Memphis Grizzlies. Uh, you remember when he was on uh, Trailblazers? Oh, yes. How come we got a uh, Steve Blake? Yeah, see? <laughs> you know what I mean? We get Blake, and he yeah. doesn't do anything for us. Yeah. Jeez, we, we want uh, Rookie of the Year, uh, yeah. Lillard. Lillard. You know? Yeah, Shout yeah. out to the Portland yeah. Trailblazers. That was a great, great award for that kid. I've actually watched him play this year, and 
He's scary. He's yeah. a scary player. As a Laker fan, uh, looking over at the Trailblazers, you know, you build a team around that kid right there. And, You're going to have uh, some danger coming. You really can. So um, I don't know too much about uh, their coach, uh, Terry Stotts, but uh, he's definitely a player to look at. And so, uh, as Russ mentioned, uh, Boston and, uh, you know, I mean, uh, Knicks moving on. So shout out to them. Uh, any more in the NBA before we move on? That's about it on the NBA scores, although uh, now uh, Houston's eight points down with about seven minutes to go, and Memphis still up by 13, seven and a half to go. So those are looking kind of uh, closed out. All right, man, a little bit of NFL. Uh, you know, as we mentioned, uh, Jeff Hanneman, he was from the Oakland area, and so he was a huge, huge, huge. Raiders fan. You could uh, look at many pictures. Uh, in fact, dude, I think he has a Raider guitar too. Yeah, he sure does. He he just didn't yep. he didn't you know it wasn't a mainstream guitar for him, but I've seen the they, Raider logo guitar. Bunch of pictures. But he's always he had the jersey on a lot of times. Totally wore the jersey. He went to games. I think he had uh, oh, yeah. season passes, and uh, so uh, thought we'd give a little update on the Raiders. And uh, they had uh, a, quite a few picks in this 2013 draft. And uh, they went in the first round. They had the 12th pick, and they picked D.J. Hayden, a cornerback. So, uh, you know, needed some defense. Uh, they really do. They, I remember they took uh, another guy uh, from Texas. I can't remember his name. Uh, that was uh, a cornerback. Uh, um, but the Raiders have kind of struck out the last know, uh, seven, eight years in I, the draft. These I, players. I've been a diehard Raider fan ever since I can remember, really. And for me... I think the Raiders need to build a little offense because they get these pocket quarterbacks mm -hmm. that don't have a pocket to stand in if you're defense. Well, that's what they did is next is they took an offensive tackle, and they must have taken this tackle knowing that the very next pick was going to be a quarterback. Well, and they ended up taking Tyler Wilson from Arkansas. Right. Right. SEC we boy, just talking about that. He, he's actually has potential, and and he actually has great potential to be a starter right now. I'll tell you the truth. Well, he does I, because I, who is who is their quarterback? A nobody, right nobody now? really. <laughs> a, nobody. a nobody. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, so I mean, yeah. Now that I think about it, well, you know what? It was Palmer. It was well, Carson no, Palmer. Carson Palmer got cut. So then there you go. They Carson don't Palmer have a quarterback. The, the Raiders went through a big cut. Uh, they got a couple of defensive tackles that got cut, two to be exact. One's a free agent now, I believe. Um, they really went through some changes, a couple coaches. It, they, they went through some major restructuring, and now hopefully we picked up a new British uh, player. Watson, I believe. Hmm. Maliki There's Watson. A Latavius Murray. There's a Nick Casa. Who was picked in the sixth round? I believe uh, he was picked forty-two in the third round. Oh yes, Sio Moore. Sio Moore. Sio Moore. I heard some great things about yes, him. Uh, Linebacker from uh, Connecticut. Yes. Uh, heard some great things about excited him. Excited about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was uh, drafted, and yes. so uh, you guys also uh, took a defensive tackle, Stacy McGee. I'm pretty sure he's an SEC boy, and uh, Bryce Butler, wide receiver. And so it was pretty wide sprung uh, draft for the Raiders. Uh, it was good choices. It, you know, they're in the league with uh, Kansas City, Denver, and uh, San Diego. San Diego, our mortal enemies. Yeah, little state rivalry going on there. Yeah. But none of those teams. Uh, well, Denver actually had a pretty good season the past couple years. Right. They've gone pretty far. Uh, last Diego's year they kind of choked. Uh, didn't New England beat them? Yes. Yeah, Peyton. stomped them. Peyton going on uh, no no Tebow anymore in Denver. Uh, yeah, and, and that he went to the Jets, and now he's not in the Jets anymore. And uh, the, the Jets uh, decided to kick Tebow kind of to the curb, and now the Jets, Russ, are dealing with a yes. couple more little problems oh, right now. Yes, I'm glad you brought this up. Uh, just today, New York Jets defensive end Claude Davis and cornerback Cliff Harris were cut a day after they were arrested and charged with possession of. Marijuana. Uh, the two players were signed to reserve future contracts. An officer noted the vehicle they were in filled with smoke. According to a release provided by Morristown Police, the officer smelt burnt marijuana when the driver rolled down his window. Now, if the name Cliff Harris sounds familiar, he was the player from the University of Oregon Ducks who was among four that were pulled over on I-5 for speeding over speeding. 100 miles an hour. And smoking. And smoking pot. <laughs> and when the cop pulls the has them roll the window down and the smoke pulls out 
they say, you got any marijuana on you? And they said, no, officer, we smoked it all. <laughs> University of Oregon, baby. See, that's right there. <laughs> the that's, big O. That's, that's big O rolling <laughs> right, right there. Dog, the big O. <laughs> anyway, so, yeah, they're off the Jets now. Yep, hey, so. so you're telling me that a football player smoked marijuana to relieve his pain. Oh, yeah. Hard to believe, isn't it? What? That's hard know. to believe. He needs but, to stick but with he's all the, not uh, stick, taking steroids. The Vicodins and the prednisones. So and he's all in trouble. Those are okay. Exactly. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Doctor, I need those ten different pills right there. Okay. Yeah. But you get that joint right there, boy. You going to hell, son? And, and you ain't gonna make a f- half a mil. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You can't run. And how about <laughs> listening to Tyron Matthew go on about? Oh, I'm, uh, I'm off the marijuana. I'm never gonna have anything. Hey, I'm expecting big things from him in the NFL. Honey Badger, Honey Badger uh, Tyron. He's been busted twice. Once for the real stuff, and once for, for the uh, spice. For the spice. <laughs> But I'm expecting big things out of you, dude. Honey Badger, man, we need you to do good because we can come back in five years and go, see, motherfuckers, the Honey Badger could play. And I got to say, of course, uh, NFL draft Packers pick up uh, Eddie Lacy yeah. from, Alabama. from Alabama. We're going to yeah. get you a Packers jersey. I'm ready, dude. That's right. I'm going to get me a Lacy Packers jersey. <laughs> yeah, kill so, me. Uh, Russ, we got one more minute. Tell us who, anything else about the Packers that uh, you liked about their draft. Uh, you know, they picked this uh, defensive end first. Uh, this, uh, uh, what was his name? Uh, Dayton Jones from UCLA. Uh, pretty high grade in the in the draft, and he should be a good off side of uh, you know Clay Matthews on the other side. You know, in the in the linebacking core, we got an offensive tackle, David Bakhtari from Colorado. Uh, don't know much about this guy. Went for the big boys. Another offensive tackle, yeah. J.C. Treader from Cornell. They're trying to protect that $100 million yeah, Aaron Rodgers. see what yeah. can do to uh, keep that safe. And then not until uh, you know, round seven are we picking up a couple <laughs> of wide receivers. One from Grand Valley State. Now, Grand Valley State, wasn't that, <laughs> that where Jerry, Jerry Rice, Rice went yeah, to? That <laughs> so, That's a Mississippi. Mississippi yeah. school. And yeah. So, uh, yeah. That's an interesting pick. And then Kevin Dorsey out of Maryland. Um, other than that, I, I think it's a pretty good-looking draft. Uh, they didn't pick up a safety. That's kind of one of the things they need. But I think they'll go through free agency for that. We'll see. All right. So there you go. NFL, you guys find your team. Uh, we'll definitely, definitely, as the summer goes on, be talking a lot more about the NFL. And so now that brings us to the NDA, bitches. Yeah, what's up, bitches? All right, man. So, as you guys know, we've got Smoke Dog Jr., Steve Shoemate. These guys are freaking regulars at the World Famous Cannabis Cafe. They've been devoting their hard-earned energy. Dog's basically a founder of it. And they, they through that, they've just been constant supporters of the community. And they've always been active. And through that, you guys have found this 710 National Dab Association Basketball League. What what can you tell us about it? Um, you know, this is actually a creation of three of us. The other one's not here, Joe Wynn. Um, Steve, you want to tell us? Well, you know, uh, dabbing has just been exploding. And, uh, you know, we've, um, we've uh, here at the cafe, been really seeing how it's, you know, kind of taken off. And, and uh, you know, the, the whole idea of uh, the cafe and other these other social clubs, you know, people like to get together and be social. People want to just sit in their basement and, you know, and smoke. They like to get together and, and do stuff. So we have, you know, different activities going on at the cafe all the time. And we started having a little fun. We had these uh, great glass blowers come in all the time. I had this really creative idea. I was like, well, what about we make one looks like a basketball hoop with all the sports fans we had? And then we've, uh, we've kind of turned it into a game since then. Yeah, we really have. Uh, the, the truth is, is that in the medical community, we, we're not able to go out to go see the Blazers play, you know, the Lakers play, even though we live in a state that has medical marijuana. So we have to go to places like the Cannabis Cafe or other places to watch our sports. And what we do is we want to let them know that we like sports too. So we come up with some our own sports games that we can do in a... Uh, 7 basketball was one of them, the NDA. And so what, what's up with some of these teams? I mean, you guys actually have teams like the HBI Ballers and Earl Archive, Portland Globetrotters, <laughs> Dab Droppers, Drip City Dabbers, Dabbing Down. I mean, are these real teams, yes, actual sir. players, more than one player? Tell us about some of these teams. You know, the, the, the great thing about it is it's fairly new. Uh, we just had our very first tournament Wednesday. 
so the names were just a bunch of us that were interested in dabbing and having some kind of recreational fun with each other. We sat down and we came up with these names. Well, they came, the, own, the teams came up with their names. But uh, we're, we're adjusting some of the rules because we want to bring in some three or four players and some defense. We're a, uh, we're a co-ed league. We had, uh, we had some great teams. It was the teams of two. So folks are playing, so, you know, uh, one side shoots and then the other side uh, dab. dabs, you know, so one shoots at the, the basket with so, the hot nail. So, so the basic rules are is you get ten dabs, uh, five on each side, and you toss them at each other's face, and hopefully one of them makes it inside the basket. <laughs> and uh, you progress forward. So let's say you uh, make it in seven and you make eight, nine, but you miss ten. So now you've made three. The team that comes after you has to make three or better. Out of ten. Yeah, out of ten. So what, you, what, you what, what we're video? doing right now is because it's so hard to make the dabs into the basket at this point. We're opening up the, the baskets. And you'll see what how fun it is. Um, we're doing referee mandatory assist dunks. <laughs> and uh, it's pretty much a dabber dunk at the very end. And if you miss your five shots, we automatically give the person that's hitting a dab. You know, and I, I mentioned it's uh, the great support we've had from from the community, from the you know glass blowers helping us with the uh, with the the domes, and from Happy Daddy talked about uh, we we at our first tournament premiered the f bomb dabber, yeah, for our dab assist for, uh, for our referees. Right. So uh, that was no, Happy great. Daddy's so, uh, doing a lot of good things out there. Well, uh, yeah, luckily we've got a great video uh, to give a, a great visual of what's going on here. Let's get to that. Russ, cue that thing up, man. For the 710 Oil Basketball League, guys, uh, if you've seen the first footage, it was uh, General Joe Wynn playing 710 Oil Basketball League. Well, he shot high dabs, and it was our first shot. All the way in, successful shot, it was great. Everybody had a great time. And uh, we are lined up with G13 today. We're going to be doing this again for you. All right, guys. So those of you that are new, the way we play this game, these jabs right here are our basketballs. That's our basketball hoop. That's our basketball form. And hopefully we can do this again on the first shot, guys. If not, Joe Wing gets high as shit. And he has backup. There it is. There it is. Rip that shit. Rip that shit. Uh -huh. 710 Oil League. Dab or dunk, guys. Here we go. Let's start it off. Ah, yeah! 710. So, dudes, I've been seeing this 710, been hearing this 710 a lot. What What is 710? Where does this 710 come from? You know, I, I can't honestly tell you where it came from. You I know, know it Steve? comes from oil reversed upside so if you down. flip oil that's kind of that's where down, the 710 yeah that's where the 710 yeah, comes 710 from 710 upside down is oil there you so. go guys oil. who started that though if you're out there guy i want to talk to you come visit us here at the world famous <laughs> it's just like Cafe. the 420 myth who started that was it was that three college guys right. or, i don't know what yeah. was the story right right on well 710 is definitely uh a growing thing man it's a big thing and so uh you guys that's oh uh -huh. bam yeah. Earl. Yeah. Nice, man. Right on, man. Well, that was freaking your game, dude. Back to this uh, freaking National Dabs Association. Yeah, uh, so th that was our second video. We actually have six videos up, seven getting ready to come. We just filmed, uh, like I said, we had Wednesday a tournament. We just did awesome. a lot of video footage. Uh, that was a very rough draft. The first two are just straight rough drafts. We Steve here is starting to do our filtering through and editing for it yeah so everything after the first two videos is edited right now and then i'm getting ready to edit the tournament and uh we'll be you know putting that together cutting We're together so it's yeah but 
We're actually looking for uh, participants, man. If you're a girl and you're out there, we want you to come represent, ladies. We have our first winner was a lady, like we were saying. And uh, it's a lot harder than people think, but a lot funner than people can imagine. <laughs> you know, yeah. Because the truth is, is when you're medicating and you're having that camaraderie with each other and you're enjoying the socializing with each other, you're forgetting your pain. And you're progressing forward with cannabis, you know, and you're enjoying it. And when you get home, you smile and you think about these things that you did with each other and you forget your pain, you know. And for some of these cats that are out there that have brain tumor, AIDS, and cancer, and don't have a lot of time to hang out with us. They have a good time, man, and they enjoy it because of those reasons. Well, uh, let's say, uh, you know, we got a lot of dabbers. I know we got a lot of dabbers that, you know, support this uh, 420radio.org for sure, but let's say some of them are interested. They want to join. How, how could they find out, or how, how could they join? What, what, what's going on? Well, we have, uh, we have a uh, Facebook page. So they can come and look at the National Dab Association on Facebook. Uh, Facebook.com, uh, NDA.710 is the direct link. Um, we also have a YouTube page for the uh, 710 Basketball League. And all the videos are there as well as on the Facebook page. And reality is if you're, if you're local and close enough, man, come down to the World Famous Cannabis Cafe. Get a team name, put it in, and represent who you are. And we'll get you started right then and there because the truth is, is we're going to be moving and we're going to be finding a place near you. We're going to try to hit all the hemp places, all the cannabis cups, and uh, go have fun with everybody. So get your team name ready. We're going to be coming up with official gear and official teams. Right on. And we, and we truly are a national uh, you know, organization. We already have uh, folks on our page from Arizona, from Colorado, and from Washington. So. Uh, we're building this up west coast and uh, moving across. Yeah, can, you, can I give a shout out to Imperial Glass? I guess I just did. Uh, Imperial Glass and Washington, man. I want to thank both those guys for standing up for what they believe in and backing 710 up. Because they came down and backed us up. And they want to sponsor us. So I'm putting a shout out to all you local guys out there. Don't let someone from another state come sponsor us. This is a local <laughs> 710 Oil Portland League. Let's sponsor ourselves. Because charity starts here, and then we can feed everybody else. That's right. So you guys get out there. If yeah. you're interested in this, man, this dab thing, it's not going anywhere. Steve, everyone's dabbing. Well, I say we're, we're dabbing hard, and we're breaking a lot of baskets. So uh, <laughs> we, we, we need some uh, gracious uh, glass blowers to, to sponsor our leagues. It's, uh, those domes, uh, you know. Yeah, that's good stuff, man. Right on, right on. So we're Earth Thrasher here with Radical Russ. Roll J Studios, we're talking with Smoke Dog Jr. and Steve Shoemate from the World Famous Cannabis Cafe and the 710 <laughs> National Dab Association Basketball League. Just having a great time. Uh, tonight's also celebrating the life of Jeff Hanneman of Slayer. And I think it's a good time to get to another song and we'll come back and see what else these guys have going on at the World Famous Slayer. Cannabis Cafe. Turn it up, folks, and load uh, those bowls up. You guys, if you're out partying and starting early, right? Uh, maybe later on things are messed up. I just want to give you a tip. It's not gay if one of your buddies blows you. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. As long as you yell Slayer during it. Uh, I'll explain to anybody who's not familiar with Slayer. See, Slayer is arguably the most metal band of all time. They're like the Hank Williams of metal. Like, they're so hardcore, right? You know what I mean? And what happens, it nullifies any homosexuality. It's so metal that it negates that shit. It's really just a couple of dudes hanging out. It's really just a bro job, actually. <laughs> Suck that shit, bro. Slayer! Cup the balls, dude. Slayer! Hey, I got an idea. What about a finger up the corn? Slayer! Not gay at all. No, you're right. It's a little gay. A little gay.
here with Radical <laughs> Russ, Rock. Roller J Studio, special guest, Smoke Dog, Junior, and Steve Shoemate. And dudes, that right there was a total badass triple block of covers, man. Hands of Doom, classic, classic Black Sabbath song. 
We had Inagata De Vida, Iron Butterfly, and then we had Born to Be Wild, Steppenwolf. Who knew that Slayer <laughs> would be singing those Steppen freaking Wolf songs song. right there? That's oh, right, know, man. I could totally picture the other two, but a Steppenwolf song I know. just throws me all off. I know. Really. So we're here tonight celebrating Jeff Hanneman and uh, all the great Oh, we opened and... up with some uh, Brian Posehn comedy. That's... Oh, I forgot about the Brian Posehn. It was yeah. so freaking funny. I forgot, man. <laughs> I mean... Talk, that's what happened to the damn chat room. That's how the chat room went all to hell. Turned into the damn... T- you should have seen some of the vulgar stuff going yeah, on in there, dude. Bad, dude. You, I can't take those guys anywhere. Damn, but anyways, man, man uh, we're children. just hanging out with uh, Smoke Dog and Steve Shoemate talking uh, 710, and I am trying to figure out how I'm going to be able to get a job application because I want to be the world-famous Cannabis Cafe janitor because I want to be the first one to go in in the mornings and open up the doors to find all the mistakenly <laughs> lost dabs from basketball. So what's up with that? We were talking about a little bit of stickiness. How how, how does that? How are you able to throw? And is it sticky? It you know it really depends on the oil that you make. the The games that I've played, I was lucky to play with powder, so the powder kind of just really flew off my hand. But as you get into the da- uh, butter and uh, the shatter, the shatter becomes sticky as it warms in your fingers. Balls of shatter are very, very balls of shatter are very, very sticky. Very sticky. Very so sticky. what happens is your trajectory changes as the stickiness starts to set in play, and you either either throw it at yourself or it sticks to your partner's face, or it just totally beams across the room. And like you said, my managers come in and find dab balls everywhere. <laughs> Oh, there. West Coast problems. <laughs> I know. It's just one of those things, man. I mean, I'm sure it's all over the place. And you, you were mentioning that people are getting freckles now, you know, yeah. like not even asking. Getting dab warts. <laughs> dab warts. <laughs> you know, it's <laughs> you almost need to wear a mask. Yeah, no, safety equipment, you know, available <laughs> if yeah. you're there. Right on. Upon request. For those of you just joining us, uh, we're talking with these guys about uh, what they've started here is the 710 National Dab Association Basketball League. Uh, it's based out of Portland, Oregon. Uh, their business, the world famous Cannabis Cafe, and uh, but they are going to be branching this out. It has uh, its own Facebook page. You guys can go there now, start friending them up, liking them, keep up with it. They've been posting videos. They have a lot of killer pictures. Russ has been showing you some of the pictures. Uh, we saw a video a little while ago to give us a little glimpse of, of what a game might look like. But, you know, as they've mentioned, this is progressing, uh, and this is just going to get better. Uh, you, can, you can see the enthusiasm in them when they're talking about this. And whenever you're doing something you like, you're, you're going to make it better. You know, it's like... You know, the cool part about it all is that we're we're... We're making up the rules, but we're having a few tournaments to rely on our brothers and sisters out there in the community that are true oil dabbers that want to participate in this, you know, a chance to come in and help us write the rules, you know, so uh, we we have a select few, as you named, uh, about five groups out there that came in on our first tournament that helped us, so if you're out there you want to come in, we have another one coming up real soon. Uh, we'll be posting that on Facebook. Uh, we just put, in we have, a couple days. I, 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 actually, I just put that up today. There it is. So we, have, we have a new event for uh, for the eighth coming up. Uh, the eighth Wednesday, the eighth, guys. Right. Wednesday. Pick your partner. Pick your partner. Bring your oil. Let's bring your oil. Around. That's the one thing right now is that because we're so new, we're changing the rules, we're learning the rules, and we're really not sponsored. Me and Steve don't make oil, but we dab it. <laughs> you know, so it's a bring your own basketball oil event until we can get some sponsors and start moving to some of these bigger fun places. Or me and Steve are going to supply this shit eventually with Joe Wynn. Any of you local businesses out there uh, supporting you know, the show, watching the show, and you guys feel like uh, maybe this is an avenue for you, I can definitely see uh, these guys. I know these guys personally, man, and they have energy. And as you can see, they have creative juices. And they are not afraid to use both. And so uh, you guys uh, definitely check out their Facebook page. Check out uh, what's going on with this. Those of you uh, who maybe uh, have joined us and uh, aren't really familiar, yeah. <laughs> this is either already working on logos, logos. and ideas. And so, uh, but those of you joining us and maybe maybe don't really you know what a dab is, Russ, Russ, you know, give them a little insight of what maybe 
dab in. It's it just is. concentrated cannabis oils uh, dropped onto a heated element that then vaporizes it. You Instead of getting anywhere from the 10 to 25% you get from a flower uh, regarding THC purity, you'll get anywhere from 65 to 95% when you talk about an oil. So I, I got an interesting question that we've been actually running our own tests on, and the question is, what do you guys think about this? Um, we've been doing our own research and we find that if you activate your cannabis like if you're doing food set it in a crock pot mm -hmm. get it activated and then run your oil that it adds 30 percent more thc and also puts in cbds and cbns hmm. into your cannabis uh into your oils your oil does come out a little darker because of the tint you know the the caramelizing of the cooking process mm -hmm but you do come out with a more potent body feeling oil. It's yeah. an interesting idea. I, my hypothesis on that would be, you know, the debar decarboxylization that you do for like like edibles, you're doing that to activate THC acid into Delta 9 THC. Right. Uh, would that make a difference when you're stripping it with butane or CO2? I guess it would, but God, I'm going to ask like uh, Dr. Mitch or somebody on that one. That's, yeah. the, that's a good question. Yeah, yeah it is. Mm. That's uncharted territory right yeah. there. As we know, this dab world in a lot of ways is uncharted uh, totally. territory. You know, the last three, four years really, really taking off. Uh, high Times Cannabis Cups uh, are yeah. totally, they're talking about doing just strict uh, dab cups now. And so uh, you guys are definitely going to be hearing a lot of this whole dab thing. And uh, it sounds like they're going to be hearing a lot about the 710. 710 basketball, guys. We're going to be out there at NDA to look, keep an eye out for Steve, me, and Joe Wynn. That's right. And so uh, while we've been talking about we've also mentioned uh, the cafe a couple times tonight. Tell them a little bit about the world-famous Cannabis Cafe, what you guys have going, how long you've been in business. Check it out. Uh, the world-famous Cannabis Cafe has roughly been in business about four years now, five years. And... Uh, what we do is we provide a safe access place for cannabis consumers to go and get medicine and socialize. We're 4,000 square feet. We have a door fee of $5. You have to show your OMMP card and your ID to verify who you are and, what, and you know, you're a medical patient. Uh, we have m music there. We do bingo. We uh, do comedy. We have a pool table. We have air hockey. We have shuffleboard. We have a free vaporizing bar, guys. Um, for those cats that are in between grows, new to the system, um, one sad true fact with the medical community here in Oregon is that there aren't really any true safe access points or any real true information that patients get from what's the new DHS called, the Oregon Health, uh, Oregon Health Authority. Health, Health Authority. Uh, they don't give you a packet and say, hey, these are safe access points that you can go to or here's some information to learn about your medical. You know, so you guys come check us out and we'll help you out. And one thing we say is we're a starting point. Check out places near your community and see what your community is about. And if you don't have one, help bring one to where you guys are because together is the only way we're going to survive, and the World Famous Cannabis Cafe wants us all to progress in this, you know, cannabis community. Um, we do a lot of things. We're open from 10 to 10 at night, um, Friday, Monday through Friday. Friday, we're open till midnight. Saturday, open till midnight. Well, you guys have music nights and comedy nights. Yeah, tonight, nights, we right? actually have Hot Tea Cold going on tonight. They started at 7, and I believe they'll end at 10, and then they'll just do some band fund after and then we also do a jam night. We're just starting Thursday blues and funk night. So if you guys want to check out some good blues and funk, we got a house band called The Firm. Nice, They're nice. They're going to come on in and hang out and uh, play some blues and funk and have some special guests. We have a special guest drummer uh, this Thursday, Ash Bolt, is going to come in and be our special guest drummer. Right on, right on. Well, uh, another thing I've noticed about the <laughs> Cannabis Cafe is uh, you guys have been cooking up some food. Some food. So uh, mm. people can actually go there and have dinner now. Oh, Boy, Miss Caroline's tonight. fried chicken. I had the catfish tonight. It was mm. so good. Yeah, so tonight's uh, meal consisted of uh, southern fried chicken, southern fried catfish, some greens with some bacon in it, uh, bacon knuckle, uh, pig knuckles, 
and uh, oh, we had potato salad, potato salad, and, and um, uh, uh, red beans and rice, yeah, and bread, uh, roast toasted bread, whole nine yards, boy, anything you think of. Most of the and, and the benefit of it is you can get it medicated or not medicated, no extra cost. It's just a flat fee for food, and you just tell them whether you want it medicated or not. Because the truth is, is we have a lot of people that come in that are uh, drivers, designated drivers, and they don't smoke, and they need to eat a meal. Mm -hmm. So we give them a plain chance to have a great straight meal, a home-cooked meal, mm -hmm. and socialize. Right on. Right on. Well, uh, Herb Thrasher with Radical Russ talking with these cats from the world-famous Cats Cafe. We're going to get to a couple of songs, and we're going to come back and close these things out. Turn it up, folks. Jeff Hanneman. Slayer! Slayer, rest Slayer. in peace, Jeff!
Well, thank you very much. I am amazed how many fucking people are here. It's an amazing sight. You know, you stand up here and you look at all these heads. Well, I want to thank you very much for coming. I also want to thank you very much for inviting us again. You guys ready?
out to all our veterans out there. That song right there was a major, major trademark. I've heard it from all you guys. And shout out. Earth Rash here with Radical Russ. Roll J Studios in Portland, Oregon. Here with Smoke Dog. Steve Shoemate from the World Famous Cannabis Cafe and 710 National Dab Association. We're just hanging out, spaying, paying a special, special night to Jeff Hanneman of Slayer. Rest in peace. He's up there with Dimebag Daryl now and Ronnie James Dio. I mean, the jam sessions going on up there yeah. right now. You know, Randy Rhodes, oh. Dimebag. Oh. Now Man. Jeff Hamm, I mean, I can go on, there's some more, but uh, rest in peace, guys, and just played a lot of great songs, and that right there was War Ensemble, one of the Slayer's main trademarks, just a badass song, and then before that was South of Heaven, self-titled album right there, and so uh, shout out to all you guys who are planning on going to marches tomorrow, we're going to be at the Portland March, Radical Russ, these guys, myself, all kinds of people. Hopefully you're planning on coming down if you're in the Northwest area. If you're not, look for a city near you. There's all kinds of stuff going on, man, and we've got so much to fight for. You guys in Colorado and Washington, uh, it's not over. Uh, Russ, as we were talking about, so yeah. much for these states to continue to keep pushing. Yeah, until we have the same equal rights as people that drink beer and smoke cigarettes, there's still a lot to fight for. That's right. It's not over. Ounce so, uh, limit. Give me a break. That's right. Let's fix that. Let's fix that. <laughs> so there's a lot of things going on, so you guys definitely <laughs> get out there and support. Go to the 420 radio.org website you can find all the shows we got big daddy fink following this show right now russ rockabilly night rockabilly night tonight and uh, i do believe that the bird is the word oh yeah so uh, you gotta love uh, big daddy fink's funky roller rink and uh, all the other shows that's going on this network you can go to the youtube channel you can find herb thrasher videos you can go to youtube channel find the 710 dab dudes Go to their Facebook page, support what they got going. Basketball league on YouTube. There you go. And we're going to go down to one night. We're going to go down and film this thing. And uh, yeah. we'll, we'll get a little gill and we'll come back and we'll keep promoting you guys. And uh, we'll keep t updating you guys. And appreciate everything, you guys who support this community and this station right here. Thank you so much. Enjoy it. Jeff Hanneman, this bowl's for you.